Hello and welcome to another Zwift race. This is the Crit Club series and it's on the Two Bridges loop. It's three laps of the Two Bridges loop. Um, so I was planning just to do like a kind of free ride, a bit of an endurance free ride. But after about 20 minutes of that, I found I found it kind of pretty boring. So I looked at the event and saw this race was available with just a couple of minutes to spare. So um, yeah, I signed up to this and really glad I did. It was, it was a really cool race. I, I, I really liked this course. And it meant that I got a warm up in this time. I hardly ever get to do a warm up before uh, a race because I'm, I'm usually just racing in my, in my lunch break. So um, yeah, it was. I, I think I kind of felt the difference. Um, it was really good. So who knows? Maybe maybe um, maybe this warm up thing will catch on. Maybe people should. I start telling people about it. <laughs> it's quite similar to stage two of the beach party series, the uh, seaside sprint. I think it was called. Um, it seems quite similar to that. There's a lot of a uh, lot of the same same ground is used in this. Um, so I was aware at the start there's this climb, um, up, like just a couple of hundred meters out of the start line. Um, so um, I'm on I'm on the front on this, and uh, that's obviously that's generally not advisable. But I was feeling pretty good from the from the warm up, um, and it felt pretty good to kind of actually kind of stretch my legs a bit. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of sitting on the front here, trying to like encourage pace to be kind of reasonable at the start, and it worked out pretty cool because we do. Um, we do lose uh, four of the group here. There's only, there's only ten of us in this race, but we lose four of them here. One, one of them, um, uh, Collier, hangs on for ages uh, on the on the rollers. He puts up a really really good fight on the on the rollers, but um, we we just about kind of lose him towards the end of those. So we cut down to six, which uh, works out pretty cool. So we're on the back uh, end of. The lap here the first lap and i'm not familiar with this route so i was just kind of scoping this out so i see that we're going up the uh, zwift kom here and uh, depending on what the, like, the topology is uh, at the end of this route i thought this this could be quite interesting so uh, maybe you could make an attack here um on, on the kom but then immediately after it there's a bit of downhill and um i thought if you did make an attack on the climb the downhill bit maybe the group could catch you uh, and then there's a flat bit before before the finish line, so you can kind of make, make maybe you can make an attack here. Maybe you'd get caught on a downhill, and then maybe it would just come down to a, a sprint on the end. So uh, yeah, I thought it could be kind of quite an interesting uh, route. Could have a kind of uh, a cut, could go down a couple of ways. So back on this little climb here, I put in a bit of a, a punch on this again, um, mostly just like because I was feeling pretty okay. I just thought I'd kind of do this again and maybe maybe it, like if someone was kind of feeling a bit bit tired maybe they might kind of fall off the back if the group responded but like no one responds and they don't need to because there's a big downhill bit coming they can catch me on um so yeah i mostly did it like for my own um, my own sick amusement So on the final lap now, the final climb, and I've got an arrow, not a feather. So um, I'm just thinking I need to kind of try and stay with the these guys who've got feathers as best I can. Um, but Dimitri and um, uh, Van Spiker make a really good attack here. And I, I, at this point, I was thinking, I didn't think the attack was like that brilliant. I mean, it was, but um, I didn't think it was that brilliant. And I thought, oh, maybe like, we can we can work together and we'll catch them. There's still a long way to go. So uh, we can catch them on the downhill and it'll be okay. But um, as we crest over the hill here, I'm looking at those two in front and thinking, oh, they're not going crazy. Um, they're kind of, they're taking it easy a bit. Um, but then I noticed like uh, you, uh, Sakuma's like a bit off the pace. Uh, and um, yeah, we're like, so is Baby a bit there. And so we're, we're kind of spread out a bit and uh, in a second, I kind of realised that ah oh, man, we we haven't we're not going to work together, so we're not going to not going to catch them. So yeah, I think when I stopped pedalling there, I was kind of thinking ah, oh, kind of kind of game over. So it's going to be a battle for um just for third place. Yeah, that Sakuma's completely gone.
yeah, so I'm just thinking sitting with these guys and trying to sit behind them where possible, uh, get as much recovery in and get ready for a sprint for third place. So I've got the arrow, which is pretty cool. It's going to help me. Um, so I'm just getting ready to make my move here. So I'm going to go now. So hit the arrow and make make a move. And they don't really react. Quite quite kind of strange. Um, takes them a second to to do very much. Um, and then Van Spiker's like he's within reach. I, I thought, oh wow, maybe I'll catch him. And I do manage to just get past him uh, and get second. So pretty cool, but um, yeah, Dimitri made a brilliant attack there, and I just kept on the gas, and so um, he finished like you know um, seven seconds is that um, in front of me. So yeah, re really good attack by him, really good good move. But yeah, second place is very cool. Really happy with that. That was a really good fun race. I really liked the course, and um, it wasn't like. Um, super fast i mean it wasn't like slow or anything but um it wasn't super fast so it gave me a bit of headroom to be able to do some stuff in it which i found found really enjoyable um yeah really cool happy with the result and um yeah i'll see you in the next one